today just doing some little things. I gotta fix the uh, gasket for the VTEC solenoid. It's getting a little bit moist around there, so definitely gotta change out that gasket. And the O-rings I wanna change out for the dipstick because it's definitely leaking down there. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's definitely getting moist down there and some oil going down to the oil pan. First thing I'm gonna do is get to this VTEC solenoid. Let's go ahead and disconnect it and then disconnect the pressure sensor down below here. And then it's just gonna have three bolts, one here, one across, and then another one down here. And of course, those are gonna be 10 mil. So let's go ahead and get at it. Now I already put an oil pan down below just in case some oil drips down whenever we'll take off the VTEC solenoid. First thing I'm gonna do is just disconnect it. All right, so here's the VTEC solenoid. You can see it's been leaking, it's nasty. And uh, gotta go ahead and change out this gasket. So here's the VTEC solenoid. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Gotta take off these three upper bolts and then we'll go ahead and take off this gasket. There's the gasket with the screen. I have a new one from Honda that I'm gonna be putting on. Now I don't have this gasket uh, as of right now, but if I need to change it out, of course you could just take off the top upper bolts whenever the solenoid is installed onto the onto the head there. That's the only thing I won't be changing out as right now. But as you can see there's a valve in, in here for the VTEC solenoid. Pull that valve out and go ahead and give everything a nice cleaning. There is a spring. So don't forget to put that spring in there. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub this on up and give it a real quick clean. The VTEC solenoid is all cleaned up here. Wiped it on down. And everything looks pretty good. And so now I just need to really uh, put on the gasket. And here's the new gasket right here. 15825P2M005. Solenoid cleaned up here. Bolts cleaned up. So let me go ahead and throw this on. Throw the top back on and then we'll take a look in the engine bay. So here's the brand new VTEC solenoid gasket. It comes with the screen on there. So you just simply just place it on in. So we're good to go. Let's go ahead and place this back onto the head. Cool, everything is installed, all cleaned up. It just looks a whole lot better in here. So we're not gonna be getting that leak from the VTEC solenoid. I would seen it leaking probably about three weeks ago, but then I saw it yesterday and I was like, yeah, definitely I gotta change that out, so. Next seals I wanna change out and hopefully it's gonna be real quick. I'm gonna try to do it without taking off the valve cover, but I wanna change out the O-rings for the dipstick where it connects inside of the block there. So what I'm gonna try to do is loosen up these two tens, one right here by the dipstick, and then the other one right here. And then hopefully that'll allow me to get this tab out of the way and get the dipstick, just pull it right on up. So I moved the timing cover a little bit. Let's see if it's enough room to get 
this on up. Yep, just enough room there. Just pull the dipstick and try to get it out. There we are. Here's the O-ring that I need to change out. But real quickly, I just cleaned up the dipstick, just scrubbed it down, and got an O-ring out of the uh, little O-ring box that I have. So this O-ring looks like it'll fit. Hopefully it will, unless I have to buy the one from Honda. But hopefully this one should go on in. So let's go ahead and stick it on down and just try to push it on down there. Alright, so that O-ring wasn't working. I got another O-ring that's tighter on here. And I'm pretty sure it's going to work. So let's go ahead and try this one. Alright, so that one seemed like it fits. Go ahead and put on this timing cover. Or just bolt it back on. And also, real quick, I found some O-rings that fit the dipstick. So, change those out to new ones. And so, there we are right there. Alright, man. So, basically, there we have it. I mean, real quick seals to change out. These O-rings connects to the oil pump the block down here and the o-rings for the dipstick hopefully shouldn't be leaking from there any longer and then of course changed out that vtec solenoid gasket a lot cleaner back here honestly i believe this is all the oil leaks that the car has as of right now of course when i first bought the car it was just dripping from different places it was mainly the oil pan and the distributor the little o-ring for the distributor that goes into the head and then also you guys just saw me change out a whole bunch of other seals just cleaning everything on up the uh, cv axles the output seals the shift linkage seal um, i put on the alternator put on the timing belt put on the valve cover gasket valve lash set the valve lash for that changed out the radiator upper and lower hose and also I did swap out the spark plug wires, changed out the air filter, removed the intake resonator, fixed the exhaust piping, removed the catalytic converter. So I basically touched a lot of the areas and there's actually not many places that I haven't touched. So I mean, I'm going to keep an eye on the oil, see how everything is going, see how healthy the engine is, probably do another compression test, really get my take on what I'm going to do with this engine. So I just wanted to make this real quick video for you guys, just touching up on the motor here and just documenting what I do to my projects. If you guys have any questions, make sure to put them down below in the comment section and make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel because if you guys know me, I got plenty of projects and plenty of things to do. Make sure you check out my other videos and comment on my other videos because that lets me know that you guys are liking the content that i bring to the channel man so as always i'm gonna catch you on the next one player